Hi everyone, it's Tech Dad. Today we will be reviewing this Bluetooth alarm clock. It won a, an award at CES of this year. The product number is IBT297. You have to be careful because uh, IOM makes some similar product to, to this one. This is the version you want from this year. So I will open it so that we'll, we'll take a short look at it and I'll take a couple of days to, to review this alarm clock just to give you a, a, better, a better review of that product. Let's open the box. Welcome back, it's Tech Dad. I've taken some time to look at this Bluetooth speaker and to understand it and to read through the manual just to see if I, if I didn't forget anything. So first disclaimer I want to say is that it's a good alarm clock but I'm a little bit disappointed because maybe it's my fault but when I was at Best Buy and I look into this I didn't have a lot of time to, to check it out. But then I saw that it worked with uh, Google Assistant and Siri and that you could talk to it so that it will give you the, the temperature and the weather and play some music. It does, but it's not really smart because you need to connect it to a phone. So it's not Wi-Fi. If you don't have a phone, if you give this to a kid and that kid doesn't have a phone or a tablet or something connected to the Wi-Fi, then all those smart functions won't work. And this is really disappointing. It, it will not replace a Google Mini. So keep that in mind. I will, I will explain how this works. It's still a great product for what it does, but you, you need to know what it doesn't do, which is a smart assistance by itself. Here we have the power button. Here we can change the mode between Bluetooth and FM radio. Here we can change the channel. We have dual alarm clock. So this is cool. So you can have two alarm. Here you can change the color of the LEDs. So you can have a fade mode, a fast mode where it changes very fast, a one color mode, and it can pulse different colors. At the back we have a dimmer. So we, we can dim the LED light. Here we have the sound and we also have a sleep mode and power on power off. So this is the, the new button that we have on this version. This is to connect to the app. This is to talk to the app and this is to, to, to change song or play song or things like that. So now it's time to try the smart function of the iHome Bluetooth speaker. So if I press this button, it will connect to the V30. What's the weather today? Today in Dermontanias, it'll be mostly cloudy with a forecasted high of 28 and a low of 20. It's currently 20 and cloudy. There is currently a freezing rain warning in effect. Play a song on Spotify. Playing some music on Spotify. Next song. So typically you can connect this alarm clock to most app on your smartphone, which Google is able to drive. So that's pretty cool. But as I said earlier, you need a phone to make this work. It's not a Google Home. So now it's time to check the app. The problem with those kind of device is that the app always suffer. So if I, I start the iHome app, what I see right now is that I'm connected to my alarm clock. I can log in here. I can change the alarm. That's cool. I can put a sleep timer. I can change the color. I don't know, one color, I can put the color to red. This is supposed to be red and it's more pink. So I have a music mode also, where you can play the radio, Bluetooth, and it will, 
and it will play here but I can also use any music app on my, my smartphone and finally there is the smart button but when I launch the smart button I can have some special function here but if I try for example to connect Spotify to the button now it's loading and now it crash and I look in the internet and it seems to be a problem I own doesn't like to fix their problem I don't know so anyhow it still works with Spotify using Google Home Google, it still works with your smartphone or Spotify using Google Assistant but I cannot have direct access and I don't know the difference with, with those kind of buttons because the app doesn't work in conclusion if you want a cool looking alarm clock for your bedside or for your kids this is a great choice but for the smart function to work you need a smartphone or a tablet connected via bluetooth i've put a lot of effort in this video if you like it please leave a comment like the video subscribe to the channel see you next time ciao